Hello everybody. We're going to talk about completing the square. So completing the square is is taking uh, one form of the equation and transforming it to an equivalent expression that looks like a perfect square. It's just something squared. Um, so right here we have uh, x squared plus 4x plus 4 and I want to transform it so that it looks something like that. So what I do is I take my x values and I split them in half and then I can put them lined up with the x values of this square and now I just fill it in uh, with my my ones okay so that is the equivalent expression to what was out there before um, all I did was move them around right so this is x plus 2 and this is x plus 2 so we have the sides of this square are x plus 2 Okay, so let's try another one. How about x squared minus 6x? Um, let's say it was plus 4. Okay, so what would that look like? Something like this. Okay, so what I want to do is split this in half. Okay, and it goes there. And now I fill this in, but I need to have some more. And to make it a perfect square, I need to fill in more than just 4, right? Because this is negative 3 times negative 3, which would be positive 9. So I only have 4, so I need 5 more. So I'm going to add uh, 5 to both sides. Uh, yeah, plus 5. OK, and then. Now I have my perfect square, which is x squared minus 6x plus 9 now. And that's equivalent to, so 5 is equivalent to um, x minus 3 quantity squared. OK? So if it started out as a, as a 0, right? Um, now, what happens if I get an odd number, right? So what if it was plus 3? Okay, I can't really split this in half. I could put one here and one here, and then I'd have to split this one in half, which you can actually do. You just say it's uh, so it's one and a half, right? One and a half is half of three or three halves. So if I had x squared plus three x plus something, so what would I add to both sides to complete the square? Well, it'd just be um, half of it, right? So one and a half then I would square that, right? So I'd square that one and a half to get how many square, so one and a half times one and a half, um, or three half squares would be nine fourths, right? So I'm gonna add nine fourths to both sides to keep the uh, equation equal. And then this is equivalent to x plus the th whatever number I squared, right? So three halves squared is uh, that equation there. Okay, So that's how we do it, is we take our x value, whatever our, our linear term, and we're going to split it in half. And whatever that splitting in half is, is going to go in here. And then we square it to say what we're going to add to both sides of the equation to complete that square.